everyone, it is Sparkle and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do a fall table setting, fall tablescape, whichever one you wanna call it. But this is gonna be a step-by-step -step on how I do my table settings. You know, it just depends. And also I wanna mention that when I do my table settings, it doesn't stay it doesn't stay like it is. I always just leave a centerpiece on there. So just remember that this is just for video purposes, just for decoration, just in case you want to set up your table and you want to leave it like that. I don't know. Maybe you're having dinner party. I don't know, but I don't have dinner parties and stuff like that. So if you would like to see this video, please keep watching. All right. So I already have my table Everything I'm gonna use for the table setting, I have it right here. But first thing you wanna do, what I do is clean off my table. So that's what I'm gonna do. And usually I use Windex, but today I'm using Sprayway to clean my table off. So some people, well, a lot of people love Sprayway to wipe off their glass furniture and things like that. And they do have an all-purpose sprayway cleaner, but this is what the glass cleaner looks like. All right, so I have the table wiped off. Then you wanna get a table runner. Well, I'm gonna put a table runner on mine. And this is the one that I'm gonna use. This is the one that's on my table as of now, every day. So if you check out my previous videos, you already seen it. And I think I bought this at Home Goods. I think it was Home Goods or TJ Maxx. So this is what I'm using. And it is a little wrinkled. It's not that bad, but I'm not worried about it. So you can iron your table runner out if it needs it. If not, it'll be fine. Okay, so that's my table runner. So next, I'm gonna do the placemats. Now these are from, who was these from? Okay, these ones were from Burlington. Okay, and it's, I bought these a few years ago. It was a part of their Christmas. I did buy four, but I'm only gonna use two. So I'm gonna put one here, and one on this side. You can use all four, but I pretty much like to do mine like this when I have a table runner sometimes because I don't feel like I need to put a placemat on these ends because of the detail in the table runner. And I didn't want to cover that up too much. So and any links that I have, I will put in the description box. So next I'm going to use my favorite charger plates. These are glass and they're beaded. These are from Amazon. Y'all make sure y'all check the description box if you would like to purchase these. These are my go-to when I want to do a table setting. These have been the ones that I've been, you know, picking out because they seem to go with everything. So I love these. Next, we're going to do the dinner plates. Now, I've I bought these, I bought this set back in March from Walmart and I never used them. And everybody's been asking me to use them, so I'm gonna use them. And you've probably seen these everywhere because they're pretty popular. I see a lot of people have been using them. And they do have the gold around the rim so yeah but you can find these at walmart because i bought the dinner plates the salad plates and the bowls all the same pattern 
They do have the other ones where you can mix it up. Those look nice also. But I wanted mine to have the same pattern. Okay, so we have the dinner plates. Now we're gonna do the salad plate. And I need to use the salad plates that came with the set. I chose to go with these salad plates. These are from Home Goods. The brown, really pretty texture in the back. So I'm just gonna sit those on top of there. I just wanna give it a different look. It's gonna make it look so much better than just using the whole set to mix it up. I think this is really gonna make it stand out. So I have my salad plates. Now with the bowls, put the bowls down. These are the bowls. Sit the bowls on top. And when you do your table settings, like for decoration, what really looks good is when, in my opinion, is when you do a lot of layers. You know, like the charger, dinner plates, salad plates, and the bowls. But you don't always have to use a bowl. You can leave it as is, but I think it really brings out the table when you just use all three. And a lot of times, y'all, I don't use all three. Most of the time, I don't. I never hardly use the bowls, but I like it with the bowls. So we got the bowls. Now next is the dinner napkins. Now I am going to use two dinner napkins, and you'll see why. One is going to be for decoration, and the other I'm going to sit on a table. So this is the one I'm going to use for decoration are these dinner napkins. These are from Pier One. They're silver, gray sheer. And what I like about these, it's kind of like it has that wire, it's kind of like that wire around the edges. And this is the napkin ring that I'll be using. This came from Pier One also. It's really pretty. So, and I love these napkins. So what I'm gonna do is lay my napkin down flat and just pull it just like that. Put the napkin ring on there. Let it stay puffy a little bit, just like that. And I'm gonna sit that on top of the bowl. So I'm gonna do all of them just like that. Because of course, if you do have a dinner party, you know you can't use these. These are just for decoration. So, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Make sure, because the napkin rings have a little weight on them. I'm trying to get them that to I didn't take the tag off of this one. It still has the Pier one tag on there, but don't pay that no mind. Not gonna pay that no mind. So yeah, I really love these. Oh, I just love these. Let me put it like that. And I'm gonna do the last one. Real cute, that's how I like it. Real cute, honey. All right, so next, I'm gonna use these dinner napkins. Now these came, I don't know if these came from Pure One or Home Goods. I gotta look at the tag, y'all. I think these came from Home Goods. Yeah, these might've came from Home Goods. So, 
the dinner napkin. This is what it looks like. Let me unfold it. Really pretty. And I'm just gonna fold it just like this. Real easy fold. No, I did not iron them. Cause it's, it's not gonna matter, you know? But I'm gonna keep it like this. On the left side. So that's how I'm gonna do that. Nice fold, so this part is showing. And I don't know if the shimmer is picking up, y'all. Y'all can see the shimmer, but it does have the metallic um, shimmer going through. had bought this for me some years ago it's gold i really like it i think she said she got it at the thrift store so i'm putting a dinner fork and a salad fork I have this. This is what I use in my table setting. Are these gold ones, right? I use these gold ones and I use some uh, silver ones that are from Dollar Tree. They're plastic. And that's it. Like, that's all I use for my table settings. All right, so let me add the knife and the spoon. You can do this for the holidays, every day if you have a dining area that you only um, throw dinner parties or have, you know, dinner at on special occasions, then you can leave your table set up, you know? I got that out the way. Add my centerpiece. Y'all can check out my video if you didn't see it. I did make this. I made this arrangement. And this is what's on my table every day for the fall. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. And I did a tutorial on how to create this arrangement. Really beautiful for the fall and all year round. Only thing you have to do is take out the pumpkins. Make sure that's straight. Okay. So I'm gonna bring out these candle holders. These came from Burlington. I've used these, I don't know how many times y'all, but I've used them a lot. These are really pretty. That on each side, just like this. And I'm gonna add these candles. And I'm gonna let y'all get a close up on these candles. These came from Home Goods. So these are really pretty. If you look at the detail, so I'm gonna add those. Like, they're so pretty, I almost don't even want to light them, you know? 
feet or stubble or something. I like the detail in them. I love the detail in them. And I'm just gonna add these candle holders, tea light candle holders. It came as a three piece, but I'm only gonna use two. Now I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna light these because I don't want anything to catch fire. Unless I swap them out and get my LED light to put in here. That's probably what I'll do. Let me get the LED lights. Yeah. I'm gonna get the LED lights and put them in there. Grab some LED lights. There we go. Put them in there, just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to add my glasses. And I'm going to use two, two different kinds wine glass and water glass. So these are the wine glasses I'll be using. These are from Pier One. There. And I usually don't do a water glass, you know, but I'm going to do one today. I'm going to do one today. Put that above there. Yeah. I'm definitely going to move that over. don't need to, I don't have to use the water glass, but I'm gonna go on and do it anyway. But these are the water glasses I'll be using. These are from Dollar Tree and they are black. go together when you're doing a table setting, like that's old fashioned. You can always use different kind of wine glasses, things like that. So let me light the candles. And we're gonna add something for those of y'all who like to go over the top and you wanna add a little extra something, There's nothing wrong with that. But we're going to get an overall look of it just like this first before I add something else. Show 
these are from the at home store. Do it like that. 